Applied ethics refers to the practical application of moral considerations. It is ethics with respect to real world actions and their moral considerations in the areas of private and public life, the professions, health, technology, law, and leadership. For example, the bioethics community is concerned with identifying the correct approach to moral issues in the life sciences, such as euthanasia, the allocation of scarce health resources, or the use of human embryos in research. Environmental ethics is concerned with ecological issues such as the responsibility of government and corporations to clean up pollution. Business ethics includes questions regarding the duties or duty of whistleblowers to the general public or to their loyalty to their employers. Applied ethics is distinguished from normative ethics, which concerns standards for right and wrong behavior, and from meta-ethics, which concerns the nature of ethical properties, statements, attitudes, and judgments. Modern approach Much of applied ethics is concerned with three theories Utilitarianism, where the practical consequences of various policies are evaluated on the assumption that the right policy will be the one which results in the greatest happiness. This theory's main developments came from Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill who distinguished between an act and rule utilitarianist morality. Later developments have also adjusted the theory, most notably Henry Sidgwick who introduced the idea of motive or intent in morality, and Peter Singer who introduced the idea of preference in moral decision-making. Deontological ethics, notions based on rules i.e. that there is an obligation to perform the right action, regardless of actual consequences epitomized by Immanuel Kant's notion of the categorical imperative which was the center to Kant's ethical theory based on duty. Another key deontological theory is natural law, which was heavily developed by Thomas Aquinas and is an important part of the Catholic Church's teaching on morals. Virtue ethics, derived from Aristotle's and Confucius's notions, which asserts that the right action will be that chosen by a suitably virtuous agent. One modern approach which attempts to overcome the seemingly impossible divide between deontology and utilitarianism of which the divide is caused by the opposite takings of an absolute and relativist moral view is case-based reasoning, also known as casuistry. Casuistry does not begin with theory, rather it starts with the immediate facts of a real and concrete case. While casuistry makes use of ethical theory, it does not view ethical theory as the most important feature of moral reasoning. Casuists, like Albert Johnson and Stephen Toulmin, The Abuse of Casuistry 1988, challenge the traditional paradigm of applied ethics. Instead of starting from theory and applying theory to a particular case, casuists start with the particular case itself and then ask what morally significant features including both theory and practical considerations ought to be considered for that particular case. In their observations of medical ethics committees, Johnson and Toulmin note that a consensus on particularly problematic moral cases often emerges when participants focus on the facts of the case, rather than on ideology or theory. Thus, a rabbi, a Catholic priest, and an agnostic might agree that, in this particular case, the best approach is to withhold extraordinary medical care, while disagreeing on the reasons that support their individual positions. By focusing on cases and not on theory, those engaged in moral debate increase the possibility of agreement. Topic. See also Topic. Bibliography Chadwick, R. F. Encyclopedia of Applied Ethics. London, Academic Press. ISBN 0 12 7 Singer, Peter Practical Ethics. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-43971-X, Monograph. Cohen, Andrew I. Contemporary Debates in Applied Ethics. Wiley-Blackwell. ISBN 978-1-4051-1548-3. Lafollette, Hugh. 2002. Ethics in Practice, Second Edition. Blackwell Publishing. ISBN 0-631-22834-9. Singer, Peter. 1986. Applied Ethics. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-875067-6. Frey, R. G. 2004. A Companion to Applied Ethics. Blackwell. ISBN 
Topic: External links. Standard bibliography fill papers 1 Chris Young, How to Teach an Introduction to Applied Ethics Australian Association for Professional and Applied Ethics Berman Institute of Bioethics, Johns Hopkins Institute Canadian Centre for Ethics in Public Affairs Centre for Advanced Research in Management and Applied Ethics Centre for Practical Bioethics Centre for Research Ethics and Bioethics McLean Center for Clinical Medical Ethics Markula Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University W. Maurice Young Center for Applied Ethics at the University of British Columbia Nuffield Council on Bioethics <laughs>